was quick, Jason. Holy cow. Any making a little bit of room, and then we will get this thing started. Oh, I forgot to set up the second camera. All right, maybe we won't be ready for a second. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my desk is such a mess. Yes, random first. I didn't see any posts, so I'm assuming the random was not done by a moderator. You know, I think it's just the time of day that, because I made the request at like 5.30 this morning, so I think when I make them at odd times, because I know, um, well, Houdini, he is, isn't he down in Virginia or Florida or something like that? But he never does the randoms. Um, get this thing nice and close so it will focus in on the screen. I think I gotta raise it up a little. That's no that's not gonna work. Five minutes of me just figuring out the best spot. For the camera, I forgot I was doing the random. Uh, that still needs to be higher. Isn't this exciting? I just want to be close. Alright, let's jump over and see how that looks. Alright, good enough. Whoops. Uh, no, that's right. Okay, so tonight... We got ourselves, I'll jump back over to the case, do that, Shoop. so we got ourselves, this is round four of Star Trek Inflections, still blah cards, so uh, I'm going to be running the random on this. <laughs> I like that, George. Alright. Here we go. So now the problem, like I always say, is that I cannot see once this goes. So I apologize. I completely forgot that I'm going to be doing this. So I didn't get my camera set right, my second camera. So we're going to jump over to the break over here. Here it is. Scrolling down. Highlight the whole list. Okay, there they are highlighted. Control C. Come over here. Control V. There they all are. On the 57. Remember, we do this five times. 
If you don't want any heartache, I suggest don't look until you see the fifth one. Because everybody always looks and they go, oh, the fourth one, I was number two. Three. Four. See what I mean? Don't look, George. Here we go, number five. Okay, and congratulations. I Bleed Blue BBN is number one. Malavon number two. Madoka number three. Not surprised he's, he has going to say he's got a lot of spots in here. So now we will take this list. We are going to copy it with all that kind of good stuff. And then we are going to come back over here. I know it doesn't matter that part, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're going to paste it. And there it is. Okay. I will go slow. So you can see. So congratulations to everybody. That's everything. And I guess, uh, I mean, I know there's a decent, uh, what do you call it, snake on this. So, you know, even the last about roughly 20 picks get another spot. I think it, doesn't it average, was it averaging high 60s to the mid 70s, somewhere right around there? Okay, so now we're going to come back here. And come back here. Waiting for that, the encoder to come up. There it is. And, okay. Let's get this thing going. So, you know, I wish I was a little bit, had a little bit of forethought with some of our earlier breaks, since this is the fourth break. And I believe uh, the fourth Star Trek movie was... Um, was the the fourth one was called the uh, was that the voyage home not sure but uh, I like to call this one the the search for Khan or the wrath of Khan since we still have it looking for that duel the one thing that does kind of stink so the first three that we opened I still say the first case was by far the best one we had the second case was the worst one we had, and the third case came in second place. Uh, we only had pulled one duel. I kind of was under the impression that they were going to be one per case, but they were not. Voyage Home, that's it. But I like either uh, Star Trek 3, so the search for Spock, even though we've pulled two Nimoy's, so there hasn't really been an issue there. If, uh, if any of you are also members on NSU, there's actually, I've been finding it pretty interesting, a uh, discussion about inflections, and it comes to the cost of the product, and I posted once in there. In general, this is on blowout and on, um, right, but case one had the duel, the, uh, the Shatner-Brooks duel, so that was nice. 
I try and make it a point though that I was gonna say is that I don't post anything <laughs> on the sites unless there's uh, any kind of reason for it. You know, like when they start getting in these discussions. Uh, phaser cut seven and nine, one of the holographic parallels and our base cards over here. All right, we're starting off a little bit on the low side. Laura Banks. But anyway, it's an interesting discussion about the cost of the product versus, you know, the value in it. This one feels pretty thick, so we got something here right off the bat. Oh, it's just a metal card. Base, base. One of the portraits. White parallel. Portrait. And Terry Farrell. Not focusing as usual. There it goes. But I think the deal is with, with this product in particular is I, I mean, I think the enjoyment in this is really high. So, I mean, I, I actually include that in what I perceive for opening this. And, I mean, I don't know about you guys. Since I haven't actually joined any of these breaks, I if we do another one, I think I'm going to join. Here's one of the uh, expression cards. Gates McFadden, Next Generation Style. I think that's it. And unfortunately, you know, you read the threads all the time. Everybody is looking at this from a value. And I don't talk about this product. I just mean in general. You know, the, are you going to make money on a product? Well, I'm an, uh, I'm an end user. I don't, I mean, what I do I want to feel like I got my money's worth? Of course I do. And I feel like this product delivers. The one thing I will say, though, is that I think that the incentive, which is the parallel sets and you order 10 cases, you know, they did the same thing for Inflections and for Game of Thrones and Valerian Steel for Game of Thrones. Um, parallel sets suck. <laughs> Sticker of Dr. Crusher. Oh, we got our number one pick already. But you know what? I'm going to do this now before I forget. I'm going to separate these by their design. Well, I think we pulled two in every case. Holographic. Here's our base cards. Duo. Janeway and Chakotay. And ugh, another one of these. That's no, good. Patrick Stewart. Alright, Jason, that'll uh that'll help. That's gonna push your Terry Farrell down the spot. That is one thing I actually I I have no desire whatsoever to see uh, his show and uh, oh, wrong way. white parallel expressions of Dax and um you know I'm gonna pull the checklist up for a second because I think. And I might have my names wrong. This isn't a big name, but this is a a good autograph. Star Trek Inflection. So, just gonna make you wait a second. 
good. I don't, I don't want to be wrong. I feel like I read somewhere somebody pulled this and this was a scarce autograph. Uh, other autograph cards. Yep. I was correct. David Warner. Focus. There we go. Now the one thing I do want to show you, because I don't scan the backs, is now the back of this card is extremely off center, top to bottom. I mean, unless they were all like that, I don't. I'd have to wait until I pull another one. But which design is aliens? Say the checklist up. Oh, so it's just the David Warner in general is scarce either way. Okay. And, oh uh, man, would love to pull that Jolene Blaylock. said David Warner next generation design which is not the one we had is listed as scarce David Warner aliens design is listed as scarce does he have a third autograph in here I mean, it's got the same picture, but it says one is next generation design and one is aliens design, and they're both listed as scarce. Oh, it's under movies? Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking under the other autographs category. Scotty Expressions, and there's our bridge, Brent Spiner. And by the way, uh, Malavon. If I'm, pronouncing, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I apologize. Or, excuse me, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. But uh, you killed your case that you had when you were slow rolling your break. Sticker of Uhura, Momo Yashima, possibly one of two. Between the Momo, the Lar Banks, the. Uh, um, my God, why am I drunk? Mark Allen Shepard. The Branscombe Richmond guy. They, uh, we'll get duplicates of a bunch of them. Possibly Jake Sisko. Portrait of Scotty. And silver signature of Cole Meany. Yeah, Captain's Relic is nice. Yeah, 
Absolutely everything has been mailed except for three people. Well, four. But uh, I don't count Trevor because he's in Australia. He He's part of my mail service, so I hold his cards. So they're his mailbox here. But a matter of fact, if you're still listening, George, I did not mail your cards out yet. Only because you picked the binder and the Twin Peaks break. So I should have let you know. I was just going to wait until this break was done. Because that way you should have enough postage credit. So that way you um, won't have to pay any extra since you picked that binder. Villain Phaser Cut. Marsha. And Alexander Siddick. And also, I did not send out Hilton's because she, which, I don't, does anybody know Hilton? I'm just curious. When she's posted on Facebook, the picture is of a girl. And then when she was on YouTube, it's a picture of a guy. And I keep saying her, and I hope it's not really a guy because then I'll feel awkward that I've been calling a guy a girl. Guinan Sticker. And here is the wonderful abstract LeVar Burton. But I've been sending her a bunch of Star Trek Beyond base cards that I had. So, uh, same thing with her. I'm just was waiting until this break was done. So, basically, has accumulated enough postage credit. Do, 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 do. And we got here Tucker and the Expressions and Mark Alimo. Oh, is that what it is? Well, then I feel really weird that I keep saying her and he has never corrected me. <laughs> but, oh well. <laughs> Here's our Scotty Phaser Cut, Connor Trenier, This is the fifth box. We uh, should be hitting a sketch soon, I would think. Holographic. Expressions of Lieutenant Torres. And old Walter Koenig. You know what, uh, I, I haven't had a chance to get on the Facebook today, but um, Nathan, were you the one that posted about the Garbage Pail Kids? I had, I had asked if anybody collected them. Chase Masterson. Hey Corey, did you, uh, did you see the random? here. Uh, the reason I posted is because I um, was cleaning up a little bit and I had 
hope to collect all the original sets. <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> don't forget, send me a Christmas card next year. But uh, I don't have any of the cards left, but I found wrappers that I figured if somebody collected them, the sets, if they didn't have wrappers, I would send them to them. And I would think that they're kind of useless if you don't have the, a set to go with them. Dominic Keating. I kind of like the silver on there. I mean, you lose it a little bit in the light, but it's not bad. And a portrait of Chakotay. And where's portraits right there? And most of you have taken spots and everything, but I still, you know, you guys all saw the half a dozen breaks that went live today. A lot of, of busy, busy. A uh, villain laser cut. Branscombe Richmond. That TriStar break, that filled in a couple hours. But, I mean, it was only seven spots in the break. I'm thinking about starting another, a separate break for another case. Just for, that's uh, yeah, so I think, I don't know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Sticker of Tuvok, and here's our Jason Alexander. That usually goes pretty high, the last one we got. That was a top 20, uh, for if I remember correctly. And then another design. Running out of space to put everything. I'm most excited about Stellar. I think it's around half full or so, maybe right around there. That's good, Mason. I, I honestly, I didn't. The only one I knew for sure, the uh, the Ezra Miller was smudged, but that's the way it came out of the pack. Yeah, you, Corey, you took a spot in that TriStar break, right? Russians Wesley and there's a bridge version of George Takei come on let's go not focusing as usual you know I keep forgetting after a while it focuses when I pull it away and then it'll stay focused <laughs> it's not oh yeah it's oh my There's our first printing plate. Yeah, and also Mason, when I sent uh, sent you your stuff, I tried to do as many not in top loaders as I could because I know you hate having top having them sent in top loaders. All right, so this isn't a bad one. It is magenta, which isn't the best color, but it is Captain Picard. And Thomas Decker. We could possibly get two of him. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I like the Sulu quote better. I will get to it. My, my problem is, Nathan, is that I, I fall asleep just... <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk last night, you know, scanning the in Game of Thrones inflections cards. 
and don't even know what happened. I just woke up and it was 4.30 in the morning. So then I finished doing that. Uh, phaser cut of Tucker. Andrew Robinson. I think in the first case we might have gotten two of those. Uh, that goes there. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't gotten any, uh, any sketches yet. We're pretty far in for not getting a sketch. I'm trying to think in the last break. Corey, were you the one that picked the Charles Hall sketch of a uh, V'ger or whatever? That was a a really nice sketch. Whoever whoever grabbed that one. What? First stamp we got ourselves, Captain Cisco. Uh, Oh, whoops, forgot. This. Robert Picardo. Possibly number one. I think we've gotten two of him in two of the three cases. Possibly in all three. Okay. That one was, I mean, that was a good one, too, obviously. Cisco. That's only our second mirror. Michael Schneider. That is most likely one of two. cuts Kate Mulgrew I mean look we've pulled three sketches in every case and I mean honestly except for two of them they've all been top-notch sketches and even those two were still decent just nothing crazy Now, one thing for all you Star Trek collectors. So, one of the big things, and I know this really goes for James Bond, that everybody liked was that the autograph design never changed. Now, James Bond, they num uh, numbered the sketches, or excuse me, the autographs, so that way you could keep going. Riker sticker... Focus. There it goes. All right. There's our new number one. So we've got Nimoy and Stewart. All right. Trivia question. And I honestly, I don't remember the answer, but I will, I'll know it if somebody gets it right. Didn't he do a comic book? Ensign Kim and the Expressions and Ralph Brannan. You know what? I did that for a while and 
I somehow must have re-enabled it. It's just the thing that I didn't like was I, I just can't get the focus quite right and it was really bothering me. And Sulu Portrait. And here's Beth Toussaint. Gotten her in every case. Every time when I first see that picture, I don't know, it reminds me of Linda Hamilton a little bit. Young Linda Hamilton, obviously. This box here marks the halfway point. Matter of fact, a lot of the original series um, actors had their own comic books. I know Koenig did. Shatner did. I'm pretty sure Nimoy did. That nurse chapel. All right, well, let's start easy. What was the comic book that uh, Captain Kirk had? Branscombe Richmond. That one I know. That was by far the biggest one. I believe they made a uh, TV show with it, based off of it. Let's see. I go with this one. Here's Kirk and Spock, and this is the Chris Pine version. And here's our first relic. It's actually a little stain or something on the fabric right at the bottom. I don't know if she hit it with the marker or if it actually was in the fabric for Nana Visitor. That is correct, Jason. Now, unless I am wrong, didn't they make a TV show? Based off of Tech War. And the main character was portrayed by Greg Evigan. Grace Lee Whitney. Yes, there's books and comic books. There we go. Oh, you know what? There was one other card in there. I forgot. All right, so... I feel a little bit better. We pulled a relic and an auto relic. Now, Greg Evigan, I actually, I don't know how old. I know most of you guys are in my general age range. I don't know about you, Jason. But uh, I think Greg, wasn't Greg Evigan BJ and the Bear? No, no sketches yet. Stamp number two, Captain Janeway. And Michael Dorn.
Yeah, I mean, it's just the, the way they get packed and the way I took them out of the case. Uh, that's right, my two dads. All right, we got our first sketch. Sharon Thomas. Oh, you know what? I got sidetracked. So the fact that Rittenhouse is very consistent with their design styles of autographs, even though this is a much higher end product than any of the regular ones, you know, I would think it would have been nice to do something to separate them. And the sketches, they gold foil stamped the back of the sketches that says Star Trek Inflections. And I think they should have done that with all the autographs also. All right, Lee Lightfoot. Uh, not familiar enough to know what that is of. I apologize. And I think the uh, soft sleeve is giving it a little bit of glare. It doesn't want to focus anyway. Laser cut. I keep saying phaser. Valeris. And Alexander Sittig, number two. Different design. Alright, so Jason got the first one right. He got Tech War. So does anybody remember the name of the comic book that Walter Koenig did? I don't remember the name of it, but I just remember him having one. Eh, can't get his last pack out. Nobody knows. Mirror duel of number one. Is that Pike right on that side? Captain Pike. Marina Sirtis. Let's see. Let's go with, let's go with this one. It's got a metal card in it. It feels heavier. O'Brien. Julie Morgan. ourselves a next generation box Denise Crosby okay I, I really I don't know the answer I just remember that he had one 
Just like uh, Leonard Nimoy had one, and I remember I had it. Uh, Joe Mar Bolda got ourselves a wharf sketch. You know what? That's because of the glare. Let's take it out. That way it'll focus. Maybe not. Is it a focus? There it goes. I feel like the Leonard Nimoy one was something like the Clockwork Man or something definitely with a, a robot or a steampunk type thing to it. You know, I haven't been following. I, I looked, I guess, a week ago now. How many of the uh, the duel, the con duel? I think I only ever saw one on uh, on eBay. The Cisco Kirk duel. I'm pretty sure I saw a few of those, and then the Takei Whitney one. I saw the most of. LaForge Expressions. And here's our first duplicate, I think. Not surprised. Okay. Primordials. Here's Saru and Lorca, dynamic duos. Tamara Lee Krinsky. Yeah, I could believe that. You know, we've hit one duel in three and a half cases now. But the funny thing is that the duels are, or excuse me, the... Um, original artwork for the portraits there's a phaser cut of wharf are actually more common than the duels I think I had worked out some numbers Brent Spiner number two different version I know I'm gonna jinx us with seven boxes left but we've only hit one actual double so far But we should still be hitting probably two more autograph relics, one more sketch, maybe one more printing plate. That is going to be a tough one to... Uh, I thought that's... Maybe I, maybe I got my numbers backwards, but... Oh, no. You know what? I'm sorry. I think maybe it was the relics. There was something. Why? But the the odds on... If there's 300 cases or 350 cases... Yeah, they. that's not the first time, Jason, that they did that. Um... They had, I think it was Emily Tester, had a set in something a few years ago. And they actually had her do regular size sketches. So that way they could insert the originals. Phaser cut of Phlox. And Anthony Montgomery.
goes. But what is it? Three is it three hundred or three hundred fifty cases? Uh, three hundred cases based off of the stickers. So if there's fifty. Oh, you know, maybe I was thinking just the con. Maybe that's what it was. Because somebody had had uh, guessed that there couldn't be more than, say, four or five of the con duel in the whole product. But you've got 50 of the original artwork, so they're one in six cases on average. Riker Expressions. Yeah, that's, I, that's the only one that I ever pulled. <laughs> Sharon Thomas, I think that, I think that's number two, right? Yeah, our second duplicate. I think we usually end up with like four or five duplicates. Sticker of checkoff, white, and. Carl Urban. This one's actually nice. Um, the other Carl Urbans that we pulled and that I've seen, he signs off of the card. This one stayed on the card the whole way. Well, they don't... Um, I asked, you know, they're not going to tell you how many they have inserted. They might give you a rough, I mean, actually, Steve, a lot of times if you ask him on his blog thing, he'll tell you, but I don't think they made it known about how many of the duels they made. sketch so we got Ethan Phillips well the Amelia is a they said there was what less than 10 of them and huh so now, again, I don't know what this scene is for, or of, I should say, but we got, I'm going to take this out again so we don't get the glare. Got ourselves another Charles Hall. Star Trek is what this sketch came from. Uh, I'll show you again. Charles Hall is the artist. I mean, it's a woman laying on something, like a light-up bed. Let me see if I can do this again, get it to focus quicker. I mean, it's short hair. Couldn't tell you if those are Vulcan ears or not. But it, the sketch is on a women of uh, women of uh, Star Trek sketch card. Do, 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 do. Or Queen. 
Well, Jason, you're getting your Terry Farrell is falling further down. Sticker of O'Brien, and here's our obligatory Mark Allen Shepard. Hey, finding time. Uh, let's see, we pulled Patrick Stewart, Leonard Nimoy, Whoopi Goldberg. Um... They were the three big ones, right? The scarce, uh, whoever the guy was in the aliens design. So I would think we're going to get one more autograph relic. And we should be getting one more stamp, I think. Expressions, who do we get? Chicote. Michelle Nichols. I couldn't remember, that was it, yeah. David Warner. You know what though, in the last case, we got the Zoe and the Nimoy, but we didn't get Stuart, and I don't think we got Whoopi in the last case. Sticker, Dr. Pulaski, and David Warner. There's the uh, human version, which is the not uh, scarce. Yeah, rappers everywhere. Portrait of Wesley. And here's our Christopher Plummer. You know, the Christopher Plummer, there has been... I mean, he averages over one per case. So, that means there's somewhere between... 450, 550 plumbers in this product. Now we still have four boxes to open. This is the thing that's kind of surprising to me. Again, I know it's just luck of the draw, but four cases and only one duel. To Paul Archer, dual Gates McFadden bridge version. Portrait of Odo. Thomas Decker, number two. Right, we're 
probably still do one or two more duplicate Captain Kirk and the expressions and here's a double but I, I honestly I don't mind I don't mind it when I get the better you when you get better doubles Brett Spiner And again, I was watching some stuff on eBay, and they it ended right when we were while we're breaking. Probably ended up going for more than I was going to pay anyway. I'm a cheap sob. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, like, there's two Gates McFadden's, one Next Generation, one Bridge, two of the Alexander Sittings. I mean, he's a, he's a lower character, but still a main character nonetheless. Jessica Villain Jerry Ryan Okay, what that does it really makes me regret that we couldn't fill that the portfolio next generation portfolio prints archive boxes I mean, we were uh, when they when they were on sale, where the two boxes together were like eleven hundred. Captain Picard and Silver Signature Anthony Montgomery. So that's our second Montgomery. One Bridge Crew, one Silver. They're still there, but I, I think they're at either six and seven hundred or six and six hundred. Dax sticker, Laura Banks number two. Now I tell you what. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I don't disagree that they'll go back on sale eventually because I think even though I mean they're an okay price right now, nothing crazy, but unless we get to do them as a group break, I don't think they'll ever move them. So I'm okay with being patient. All right, two boxes to go. I am hoping to see. Another printing plate, another stamp, a booklet, and the uh, the Tapal autograph sticker of Chicote Nana Visitor.
Hazer cut of the doctor. Holographics. Here's Momo number two. The um, there's a Voyager archive box for six hundred. If that ever goes down a little bit I could definitely I would definitely buy that one to Paul expressions and Jonathan freaks last box Really looking for a duel. Kira, card number 45, black printing plate. All right. I don't think we're going to get a duel. I don't feel it. Seven of nine expressions. Julie Morgan number two. This is gonna go to these last ones quick. If you didn't notice, I have I didn't show you something. Portrait of Mayweather. Cole Meany. Bridge. Well, don't say if you saw it. This has got to be my favorite thing, is that when we actually get a good card in the last box, that's such a wonderful thing. I hate limping out of a box, of a case. I don't think you guys will be too upset about not getting uh, Zoe. Okay, that was our case. I'm going to say that this case... Hmm. I think case one was still better. This has got to be our second best case. I just think the duel makes the first case the best. So now, before we go through the recap, so what I was getting at is our small sample size of four cases, just over 1% of the product, we've only hit one duel. So if that were to run through the whole thing, then you're only looking at 75 duels in the whole product. I think we just had bad luck, honestly, with the duels. I think they're a little bit more common than that. I think they're like one in every three cases. I think there's 100 duels altogether. Like you said, probably 10 of the con duels. Um, yeah, but you... None in, wait a minute, out of, oh, five cases. 
your case, though, had you had both relics. You, your case was really nice, though. All right, so anyway. Um, so if it's 60, so if you say there were 60, say there's 10 of the Conduels, 20 of the Kirk Cisco duels, and then uh, 30 of the Takei Whitney duels. Give or take, you know, something along those lines. Okay, let's do our recap now. Again, I'm so I'm still gonna I'm gonna put this case in second place. So out of our four cases, this is the second best one. We got two printing plates, a black plate of Kira, magenta plate of Picard. All right, in the Deep Space Nine Voyager, I put them together because it's the same design. We got Jason Alexander and Alexander Siddig. In the silvers, we got Cole Meany and Anthony Montgomery. In the Deep Space Nine, Mark Allen Shepard, Andrew Robinson, Chase Masterson, Mark Alimo, and the scarce David Warner. Kate Mulgrew in the Legends, Christopher Plummer in the Art of Star Trek. Next Generation, Jonathan Freaks. Two Brent Spiners, Denise Crosby, Beth Toussaint, and uh, Gates McFadden. So again, not that, not that uh, upset about pulling two Spiners as a duplicate. All right, in the Bridge Crew. Cole Meany, Nana Visitor, Jerry Ryan, Gates McFadden, Nichelle Nichols, uh, Ethan Phillips, Anthony Montgomery, Sirach Lofton 1, Sirach Lofton 2, Marina Sirtis, Michael Dorn, uh, Grace Lee Whitney, Leonard Nimoy, Picardo, George Takei, uh, Tanier, uh, Keating, I'm sorry, here's Tanier, Alexander Siddick, Brent Spiner, and Terry Farrell. I always want to say Perry Farrell. Two stamps. Carl Urban and Nana Visitor in the Auto Relics. We got the Captain's Relic. So we again, we got the best one of the relics. Four cases. We did three Captain's Relics and one of the... Uh, what was the DS9 Relic is the other one? Three sketches. Charles Hall uh, to Paul, Women of Star Trek. Um... Joe Marbolda, Star Trek 50th of uh, Worf, and um, Star Trek sketch effects card, Lee Lightfoot. Um, you guys said what this is. I forget. Somebody's ship. And the top. Oh, whoops. Forgot. Movie versions. So I'm going to separate these, though, because David Warner... We got Whoopi. Okay, two Julie Morgans. Two Sharon Thomas. Two Thomas Deckers. Two uh, Branscombe Richmonds. Walter Koenig. LeVar Burton. Two Momo Yashimas. Eh, don't fall. Two Laura Banks. We only got one Michael Snyder, and we only got one Ralph Brannon. Tamara Lee Krinsky, Patrick Stewart. And to top it all off, our last autograph in the last, well, what well, it was in the last box. Benedict Cumberbatch. So, great case. Um, like I said, this is case number two out of four in order of... Best to worst, in my opinion. I will. Uh, I'll get the scans up as soon as I can. Well, I'm still pretty awake. I'll start scanning them now. I'll try and get them up. If not, they'll be up tomorrow, and I'll get the spreadsheet together. So thanks for watching. Check out all the other breaks. Like I was saying earlier, a ton of them went up. Some of them are already full or almost full. Uh, the TriStar Entertainment already full. Um, I think I'm going to try, I think I'm going to add a second case as a separate break, just so it's, so they're separate, um, just because it's a big thing. Star Wars Stellar.
Um, I think it's more than half full already. And all these breaks just went up early, early this morning. Uh, Nate, the Endgame Marvel break that will be on Facebook, I'm going to try and get it together this weekend. Um, Still City never responded to my messages about asking about a 16-box case. So I'm going to just do it as an 8-box case. And um, I'll put an option as two 8-box cases for a reverse snake. I think that's our best type of break. And maybe do it as a pack break. So I think that'll give us the best bang for our buck in the break. Um, and if it doesn't fill that way, we can just drop it to an 8-box case. And then the spots are almost the same price. They go up a little bit. All right, so anyway, Star Wars Stellar, it's more than half full. Um, more of the CZX DC superheroes and supervillains. I know that one was almost full already. Yeah. I'll add another case to that one if it's full before the week ends up. Um, what other breaks were there? I'm drawing a blank now. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, Stellar. Oh, Star Wars Masterworks. We're doing another round of that. That that was almost full. Like I said, we'll add a second case to TriStar Entertainment. I will be submitting Game of Thrones Season 8 this weekend. Wow. Stranger Things, welcome to the Upside Down. I don't know how full that one is. But, you know, somebody else took a spot in that, which is good. And then we still have uh, Obsidian Soccer. Can't seem to get any love for soccer. And uh, the 2019 Twin Peaks Archive box, there is 10 spots left in that break. Yeah. I'm starting to blow up. Yeah. And I think that's it. So again, if anything you want to have me break, shoot me a message. You can do it on here. Do it on Blowout, NSU, Facebook. Join the Facebook group, iFish73 Non-Sport Group Breaks and Mail Service. Like Nate just said, uh, we'll be doing, uh, we're going to try and do a break of... Avengers Endgame Captain Marvel on there as well as another historic autograph 1969 The Stranger Things on Blowout Correct me All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching See you guys on the next break, which I think won't be until next week return to the Jedi black and white and Ooh, historic autograph, Civil War comes out. We're pulling an Abraham Lincoln autograph. I feel it. All right, guys. Talk to you later.